Hi, my name's Adam. I'm going to be taking you through this week's questions and answer session from us here at Anova Systems. Thanks for watching. In this week's video, I've been asked how I can make a sweep vary in section as it goes along the path. If we create a standard sweep within the software, you'll see I'll select this item as my profile and this item as my path. What we get is an item which is constant as it goes along the path. Its section stays exactly the same size, exactly the same width, and it just follows the path around that bend. But if we want to make the item vary in section as it goes along this path, what we need to do is put in an additional path for the item, known as a guide curve. The guide curve will allow the item to alter in shape as it projects along this path. I'm going to build the guide curve into my model by building an additional sketch. The sketch I'm building is going to go on the front plane. What I want to do is build it before I've created the profile, which is just here in my design tree. So I'm going to roll above this item, and you'll see why later on. So I'm going to create the guide curve on this sketch plane just here. My sketch, I'm going to start off by building it the same as I did the first one. I'm going to use a spline to build this one. So I'm going to put in a two-point spline, one from one end, one to the other. I'm going to make sure that at this right hand edge it stays vertically aligned and I'm going to put in some dimensions to control the shape and the size. Okay, that's actually fully defined the sketch but what I'm going to do with this spline if I select it I can then alter the projection of the spline by just dragging these drag, drag handles. I'm going to make sure it's symmetrical off the, from the middle, so I'm going to make sure that this drag handle stays vertical. And this one just here, I'm going to just pull it up to give me the kind of shape that I'm looking for. Okay, we can kind of play around with those just to give us the, the exact shape that we're looking for. Once we're satisfied, we can just exit the sketch. Okay, so having built that guide curve, I'm then going to roll back down my design tree. I need to make sure that my profile within this example is related to the guide curve. So I'm going to edit the sketch for the profile, which is why I built the item before my guide curve was created. So within my profile sketch, what I can do now is I can add in what's known as a pierce relationship. Pierce just means that the point in the sketch that I've got selected just here will be joined to my guide curve at the point that it passes through the sketch plane that I'm drawing on. You'll see it's just here when you select a point and then a curve from another sketch. So I can pierce those two items together and I know that they intersect perfectly. Having done this, I'm now going to exit the sketch. Okay, if I now go back to my sweep tool, I'll select my profile I'll then select my path and initially it just looks exactly the same as normal. If we then go to the guide curves box and select our additional guide curve, we then see that the item will vary as it goes along. If I hit the tick, there we go, there's our variable section sweep. And I can just finish this model off just by going ahead and maybe adding in a fillet around this edge just here. Okay, that three mil will do. And then I'm also going to mirror it across the center. So I'll use the mirror tool to do that. Okay, I'll use features to mirror, just mirroring these two items. Okay, and there we have it. There's our item which will vary as it goes along the path. We can actually add in more than one guide curve within a sweep. And it allows us to do a sweep that will vary in two directions and not just one. So we could have the item varying in this direction as well. Building in the additional guide curves can be a tricky game. And if it is something you're interested in, it's worth looking into this curves menu at the top here. Thanks very much for watching.